Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, welcome to the Dutch C channel, thank you very much for tuning in. And in this video I'll uh, give you a uh, tip to uh, make your life easier in this hobby. As you know, in this hobby we now and again have to solder up plugs, power plugs, XC60, XC30, Deans, uh, whatever, uh, maybe even uh, XC90. And again in this video I'll give you a tip on how to do that better. Now these kinds of plugs, as you know, have a uh, have two metal cores, the actual plugs, so to say, and a protective plastic cover. All of them uh, are the same in that sense. And if you've ever tried to solder those up, you might have come across the problem that this plastic cover melts a little and the pins become misaligned, especially by the way with Dean's plugs, but also with XT30s and XT60s. So how do you solve that problem? How do you get rid of that once and for all? Ok, for this you need two extra things apart from a soldering iron and soldering tin. You need a pair of pliers such as this. And oh by the way, if you know this multi-tool, this is actually a collector's item by now. <laughs> ok, um, and you need a rubber band. Now what you do is you take that rubber band and you wrap it around the handle of your pliers. So that it becomes a self clamping pair of pliers as you can see. What you also need is the counter plug. Let's say you want to solder up a couple of wires to this here plug. This is the female version, I'll put the other ones uh, to the side. These are XT30s and again we want to solder up wires to the female version of this plug. So what you need is also the male version of it. And what you do is you slot them together and what that does is it'll keep the pins in alignment. Right? While you're soldering uh, again, that plastic might uh, melt a little bit, especially if you're not that uh, uh, familiar with soldering. If you uh, use too much heat or too little, yeah, mostly too little. If you use too little heat and the soldering takes too long, that plastic might have melt, but this way the pins will stay aligned. Also, what this does is that second plug takes away a bit of the heat. From that, from that plastic. Now the optimum way of doing this is taking a plug that has some wires on it. Maybe you have a scrap piece of a wire with a plug on it. Um, use that because those wires will draw away some of the heat as well. Ok, so we've got uh, in this case we want to solder up uh, this uh, black version of the XC60. And the next thing I do is uh, clamp it in my pair of pliers. There. The plug is now securely clamped into the pliers. Now that again does two things. Um, it uh, keeps my uh, plug nice and stable. That rubber band uh, make sure that your pair of pliers doesn't slip away because it's uh, sticky. Also the pliers draw away a little bit of the heat so again that plastic doesn't melt as quickly. So that's nice. And that's basically it. Um, once you've done that you uh, first heat up the metal core of your connector and tin it up. Then you take your wire, you heat it up and tin it up and then you stick the two things together. And that is basically it. That's all there is to it. Very simple but uh, the major tip I have is to use that, that counter plug while soldering up plugs like this. And again this goes for Dean's plugs as well and XT30s. Works just as well. 
And um, yeah, why make the video longer than this? <laughs> this is all there's to it. Um, this really makes soldering up these kinds of plugs a lot easier and uh, you won't have misaligned pins afterwards. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye bye.